And for more on Facebook, we are joined by Daniel Sparks. He's a senior technology specialist at investment site The Motley Fool. He joins us from Denver. Hi, Daniel. Uh, let's start Hi. with Facebook's earnings. What really stood out for you? Well, it was a great quarter uh, right, right off the bat. It wasn't just a good quarter. Mark Zuckerberg said in the earnings release, uh, this is a good quarter. That's about all he said in the entire release. Pretty muted response. He must be, not be watching uh, the, the analyst estimates, um, not, must not be concerned with them because as far as that goes, it was a great quarter beating estimates on revenue and earnings. What really stood out to me, though, was operating leverage. Uh, that Revenue beat estimates, but earnings really beat estimates. And that, that was because of... Facebook is a scalable business. That's what people are starting to see is uh, this growth that's priced into the stock is starting to actually come out. We saw earnings per share grow uh, by triple digits from the year ago quarter uh, mm -hmm. from, below, from below 500 million to above uh, 1 billion in just one single quarter. Yeah, it is impressive. Well, uh, Daniel, Facebook also recently revealed it's testing out a buy button whereby users can click on a button and purchase something without ever leaving the site. So basically, it's in a way transforming itself into an e-commerce company. How significant is this? So that's some of the takeaway people thought when they're seeing this initial move. Uh, is Facebook getting into e-commerce? Uh, and if it was, that's a big business. Then we could start looking at uh, Amazon and looking at that addressable market. How far does e-commerce go? But during the earnings call, Mark Zuckerberg clarified, uh, this is not a strategic move toward e-commerce. It's just a way to uh, become a better option for advertisers and to really have a better uh, compelling value proposition for these advertisers. Yeah. And they're doing that by, by introducing a, a payment system so these advertisers can uh, come in and uh, accept payments on Facebook. And so that's really the way investors should look at it is it's just a one more way to be more attractive to advertisers. He really emphasizes that the company's uh, still an advertising business, just a new ad right. product here. Okay. And, and becoming more attractive to advertisers with this uh, buy feature, uh, how will that increase the, the amount of money they can get from the advertisers for mobile ads? So... Uh, this is just one more ad product. What, what Facebook has done is uh, they initially, when they became public, st started to kind of max out their ad load. And now the emphasis is, is on improving the quality of ads and uh, quality measured by things like return on investment as far as the advertiser's part, uh, engagement as far as the user's part. So um, yes, this, uh, in, at the end of the day, is uh, the point here is to increase uh, the amount of ad dollars coming in for advertisers. And, uh, and I think that this can do that because it's definitely a new alternative, a new way for these, uh, for these advertisers to use Facebook uh, advertising. Right, and we just saw on the screen uh, a few seconds ago uh, just what percentage of the market share they have. They're the second largest uh, when it comes to mobile ad revenue after Google. Um, are users really responding to the ads if advertisers obviously have given Facebook the thumbs up, but are, are, are Facebook users actually responsive? So we can say that uh, Facebook users are more responsive uh, and that's what how Mark Zuckerberg would want to frame it. And in some effect, I'm sure that's true. Uh, but at the end of the day, these ads have gone uh, to more of a focus of right in front of our face. Uh, because back in, uh, it used to be where they were on the side of, on the sidebar uh, on the desktop when the majority of users were using Facebook on the desktop. But today, uh, these ads are right in our face. Uh, so yes, we're seeing uh, more engagement with these ads, but is it because the ads are better? Uh, sure, they're better, but I think the major driver here is we have one small screen on a mobile phone. Uh, these ads are right in our face, and they're really driving engagement because we see them more than we did on desktop. Okay, Daniel, uh, one last question. Uh, the stock share price has gone gangbusters over the past year, up 172%. That's before today's after-market gains. Uh, at the same time, Chairman Yellen, uh, Chairwoman Ye Yellen, says that uh, social media stocks are overvalued. What do you think? So there, there is a case that they're overvalued, and I'm not going to say uh, these stocks are undervalued or fairly valued, uh, but I don't want to argue that the stocks are overvalued. I'm, 
I'm not going to agree with that. When you look at these companies, it's not like the dot-com bubble when we saw a lot of companies with crazy valuations with no earnings. Uh, but Facebook is at the point now uh, in recent months where it's growing earnings much faster than market capitalization. Uh, so like, like I said earlier, we look, we look at earnings per share, and it's up mm -hmm. uh, triple digits from under $500 million in the year ago quarter. Uh, to above one billion today so this is a very profitable company extremely scalable yep. business and a very sustainable business when you look at the network effect of over 800 uh, eight, 800 million daily active users uh, really keeps members staying on the network yep. and there's huge switching costs to leave to another network so okay daniel thank you so much for that uh, that was daniel sparks from the motley fool in denver